The add-on we are creating today is Title Animation Presets. Here is what it includes. Options for Text Input, Size, Extrude Value, Animation Effects, Speed and Duration. Uh, this is just an example to show you how to create add-ons. By the end of the video, you will understand how to create your own add-ons using the same process. Uh, first, we need to plan about the add-on, right? To create an add-on, it's important first to understand what you are building. I always start by sketching out the layout and flow. Uh, for this layout, I'm going to use the mirror board to create a visual representation of what we are making. Let's plan in the mirror board. We need input for text we are typing and its properties like size, style color let's include animation settings like speed and duration finally an option to export or apply these settings so that it will be applied now let's group these let's align it properly Let's parent the text creation and its properties, uh, input, size, style and color and animation as a parent and its speed and duration. For the animation we need FX right, let's add the FX. Let's link everything properly and finalize our layout. Uh, let's add effects like typewriter, fade in and bounce and finalize our layout. Now you can see how the layout has been finalized. This is the rough plan or our UI flow which we wanted to create the add-on. Now we have the final output layout of what we are going to create. Now let's design the UI. Uh, so with the layout ready, let's design the UI. I'm going to use Photoshop, uh, but you can also use Figma or other WebSD which are comfortable with. To create the UI, we need to know the reference how the Blender add-on will look like. So for that, I'm just opening the Blender and taking a screenshot of the tools page and taking it as a reference. Now just opening up the Photoshop. Uh, creating a new file and pasting the screenshot which we took from the blender and taking the screenshot from our uh, UI flow layout. Now you can say I just placed them on the left and right hand side. So in the center, I'm going to design the actual UI of our add on. Just using the marquee tool, creating a rectangle and filling it with blender's gray UI color which I picked from the Blender UI screenshot and adding the text field, text creation and sizing it out. Changing the color and duplicating them for like size, style and color, just duplicating and renaming it. input field for animation and effects and see uh, for the effects drop down I'm just creating a small square with a downward triangle for uh, the script to understand it is going to be the drop down uh, list box and just uh, scaling it down making it in proper sizes uh, ours is completed you can just check with our uh, ui flow and with the layout which we have designed and you can just compare it side by side you can see like how it came save the file as your image in a folder named how to create add-ons
options. Now we have the image saved. As we have completed our UI uh, design, let's just start creating our UI uh, front-end development. Uh, let's use ChatGPT for it. Now let's switch to ChatGPT. Uh, I'm just going to type, I need you to create a Blender atom for me. I will guide you step by step. So I'm just uh, guiding it what we are going to create up front. Next, upload the UI image. We just saved and ask it to create an add-on based on the design. Be specific. The add-on should appear in Blender's transformation panel. ChatGPT will generate the script. Always provide clear instruction and test each version it generates. Once the script is complete, ChatGPT will explain what it does. For now, it creates the UI panel with fields and the button. As we have created the script, let's just copy the script, open Visual Studio Code, paste the script by creating a new file. And save it as a title animation V1. I'm going to always save it as a version so that I know when to go back if anything goes wrong. In Blender, go to Edit, Preference, Add-ons, click Install and locate your file. Enable the add-on, you will see it appear on the sidebar. At this point, the UI is functional, but the button won't work yet since we haven't added any functionality. As you can see, the add-on is there. We can click all the buttons. We can click on the color. We can click on the size, we can click on the input text, but we cannot click on the apply button because if I click on the apply button, it will throw the error because the add-on doesn't have any functionality. Now let's go and create the functionality. Now just getting back to chat GPT. and asking it to add functionality for each field text input for creating the text style size and color for customizing the text properties apply button to create the text in blender Copy the updated script, replace the old one in Visual Studio Code, save it as a new version. Reinstall it in Blender. Test the fields by entering text I'm just going to enter as welcome let's make the size as 2 font typing it as Arial as we don't have any font over there color choosing it as a green yeah let's create now you can see there is an error this error uh, says that the text field of the style it could not able to select any style uh, so that it took as a default style that's fine we haven't done it yet now Let's go and see, as we can see, there is a text creator and let me create on the, let me just click on the material. Yeah, you can see uh, the material is also there, green color. Yes, we have created the text. Now, as you can see, it does not have the thickness of the 3D text and also there is no font family displayed over there. Let's just go back to our chat GPT and try to create it out. Now, adding features. Uh, let's improve the add-on. Add an extrude value for the text to create a 3D effect. Change the style field into a drop-down list. All fonts installed on the system. Chat GPT will generate these updates quickly. Now as it got updated, now just copying the code. Opening the Visual Studio again. Pasting it, 
saving it as a new version. Opening the blender again and reinstalling after uninstalling the older versions. Oops, uh, now we got the error. Uh, when you get error, don't panic. Uh, if you get error, just copy the error and paste it in the chat GPT. Uh, for it to know, we got the error. So uh, it checks out the error and it conveys why we get the error and tries to solve it. It is generating script again. Once generated, paste the script in VS Code and save it in new version. Opening the Blender, uninstalling the older version and installing the newer one. Always try to uninstall the older one and install the new one. Test going to test it again as Adhan is created. Now the text I am typing it as a hello, size 1.5, extrude 0 0.05. Color red. Just apply. Now you can see our text is there and it is embossed in 3D effect as well. And you can see the uh, red color and even in the material, the red is there. Now we are into the last section adding the animation effects. Finally, let's add animation effects starting with typewriter. When selected, this effect animation the text as if it's being typed. Set the speed and duration to control the animation. It's going to create the script for us. Yes, the script is generating. Okay, the script is done. Let's just copy the script. Go to studio again and paste the script. Save it as new version. Opening Blender. Uninstalling the older version. Installing the new version. And let's just go. Yeah. Apply it. Yes. Now you can see the animation typewriter effect of the font is there. It's just animating. This is what we wanted. So this process shows how easy it is to create custom add-ons in Blender. I'm not talking about creating title animation. I'm talking about creating custom add-ons. If you want to create an add-on for explosion. So for example, for any scenes, if you want anything to explode, you can create the add-on. Whenever you want any object to explode, you can just select the object and apply that add-on. And if you want to render of some tunis render thing, you can create add-on for tune render. And if you want anything for creating cloth physics, you can create add-on for that. Some predefined add-ons, custom add-ons. So now you know how to create custom add-ons using ChatGPT and Python. So if you have some basic knowledge of Python, you can customize the generated script easily. Even if you don't have, you can just speak with chat gpt unless and unless or until you get the desired output and if you get any errors or bugs you can just copy the error you can just paste it in chat gpt it solves itself and you can get it out and paste it again so you can do this until you get your final results thank you for watching if you found this good for you please like subscribe and feel free to share your own custom add-on see you in the next video